to start a new series on my channel where I watch every single Disney Channel original movie in order. That's bright as frick. Um, so, the first Disney Channel original movie ever made. Okay, Under Wraps came out, came out in 1997. Under Wraps was pretty good, actually. I didn't, I didn't, I mean, obviously it's about a mummy. Because... It just sounds like it would be. And it was pretty good. I mean, I think I would like it more if I was a kid. Just because just because it just had like that kind of like kid vibe about it. But yeah. So the next movie on here is from 98. It's called You Lucky Dog. Okay. This one was very heartwarming and super cute actually. I really liked it. Then Brink was next. Like... I didn't like Brink as much. I kind of just had it on. It wasn't my least favorite. I do have a least favorite so far. It was like the worst. But I, I don't know. Brink just wasn't my favorite. It wasn't like my kind of movie, I guess. The next one was the best movie on the entire list. Um, Halloween Town was next. Um, Halloween Town slaps. Everybody knows that. It's also from 98. It came out with You Lucky Dog and Brink. It is so good. Halloween Town literally 10 halloween town is one of my favorite movies like disney channel original movies like there's so many disney channel original movies and halloween town just is on the top of my list hi i look like a mess um right now but i'm actually editing my um first part of my disney channel original movie series um the day it's supposed to be uploaded because i completely forgot about it and i just want to say that i am superior to everybody period <laughs> Because Halloween Town came out on my birthday. I mean, it was before I was born. It was the year my brother was born in 98. But it did come out on October 17th. And I have that above everybody. Xenon Girl of the 21st Century was so good. I did not expect to like... It was longer than I expected it was going to be. It was way different than what I thought. I'd probably give that one a 9. Can of Worms. This is the worst movie. Zero. If I could give a Can of Worms zero, it just didn't make sense. Like, I could watch it less than I could watch Brink, which is saying something. I hated Can of Worms. Okay, the 13th year, I just finished it. It's not bad. Like, it's not a bad movie. Um, the 13th year, it's pretty good. But, 13th, 13th year was not bad. It's about a mermaid. Or merman, I guess. It's just kind of, It was just kind of slow. But his parents gave him up at the end, which was really weird. I did not expect that to happen. <laughs> so next is going to be Smart House. I'm really excited about Smart House. Um, actually. That's very, very aesthetic to me for some reason. Morning, paper. I need her voice. She's getting a little bit of a headache. Oh my god, I'm a hottie. Okay, I might record like Don't little clips for now. Look at you that. Can't this house? I want to live here. Look at the pink wall. What about the main character? I'm assuming it's the main character. He also just made a tuna casserole, which was really confusing. He didn't mix any of the ingredients. He just had tuna noodle, cooked noodles, and then he just poured a can of mushroom soup on it, or like cream of mushroom. Anyway, this kid is the same kid from Look of the Irish. I, I, I thought it was him. I looked it up. I'm just a genius. Look at him. Oh, I'm cute. Lin okay, Leonardo da Vinci. Time for a review of Smart House. I'm actually putting lotion on, so I don't know why I decided to do this review right now. But, um, I loved it, actually. It was, <laughs> it was pretty good. I rated it a good 8 out of 10. The only thing is, and I can't even criticize, it's not the movie's fault. It's just, like, technology's fault i guess the green screen cgi that was insane bro i was laughing the entire time my cat just yawned wait you look at him oh baby johnny tsunami is next i don't even know what johnny tsunami is sounds like a surfboard so oh my god yeah i just woke up so i'm going to watch johnny tsunami today is xenon is in this actually i didn't realize that until right now like i knew her face was familiar but i didn't know what she was from johnny tsunami was pretty good pretty good i'm not gonna lie i liked it i think i'd read like a seven just 
I don't know why, just because. But it was pretty good. And Xenon was in it. Mm. We all know how I felt about Xenon. Next up is Genius. But I think I'm going to shower first. But yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it a lot. I'm watching Genius now. Hopefully I like it. Boyle. Why is he wearing a suit? I used to play hockey when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I was on the hockey team. Shut up! When I was a kid, I was on the hockey team. Mackenzie's being weird. Emmy Rossum's in this, like Fiona from Shameless. I'll record when I see her, but that's funny. I finally got the girl. Okay, final review of Genius. I really liked it, honestly. I like that they gave him more of, like, a character. Sorry, my hair looks really weird because I had it up while it was wet. But I like that they gave, um, Charlie. I almost said Chaz. Whatever. Um, I like that they gave Charlie more of a character than just liking science. Like, he likes science. And he also likes hockey. So the next one is Don't Look Under the Bed. Boogie okay, Woman. She said boogie person. When we couldn't do anything to make him better, that's when I decided I had this to This is Zoe. Him. This is the imaginary friend of uh, Francis. Even what wasn't real. Listen. And you started to turn into a boogeyman. Boogie person. I'm so sorry. I stopped Look at how gay this is. Shh. Are they going to kiss? Look at them in the background. They're up. holding hands, touching each other's face. the echo. On my way, big... I'm very confused. Um, okay, go Disney. I see you. Not complaining about the gays in the back. I mean, they kind of look like sisters when it's blurred, but it's fine. You're telling me this isn't gay. They're dating me! Sorry about all the trouble I caused. I didn't want to be a boogie. I just couldn't help it. It's okay. Oh my god, what's going on? Wait, um... But also, I mean, as I gay as this baby right is, now, it's also very logically. straight. So they're definitely in a polyamorous relationship. Look at them. They're in love. And then all of a sudden, he swoops in. <laughs> what is going on? This is the most confused I have ever been about a movie. I have to leave in one minute to go downstairs. But final review. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. That was really good. Pretty gay. Right, so the last one we have is... It's a horse movie. I hate horse movies more than anything else. It is Horse Sense. I'm here to review, what's it called? Horse Sense. Um, okay, the name of the movie makes no sense. Just throwing that out there for a second, but um, it was, it was okay. I mean, okay, so the story was cute. There was actually no love story. There was more of a breakup story. I was very surprised about that. There's usually a love story in these Disney movies. But, except Halloween Town. Halloween Town slept, and there was no love story. There was no love story. It was about, literally about horses. It was super cute. Um, I'm going to give it a good 7, maybe 6 out of 10. I mean, I don't like horse movies. I've never liked horse movies, but this one wasn't bad for what it was. But, that's it. Those are all the 90s movies. So, thanks for watching. Comment like subscribe wait okay do all oh my god i almost dropped my phone do all that good stuff and if i don't see you next time good afternoon good evening and good night